Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to talk about authentication using .NET MAUI. Specifically, we are going to see how to authenticate using Azure Active Directory B2C in a .NET MAUI application. However, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytube.pdxrica.com, click the bottom a coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. So let's start. If we go back to Visual Studio, you will see that here I have a lot of classes, right? Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a class name B2C constants. And this is the class that will hold all of the information like tenant, the client ID, the name of the policy uh, of the sign up signing policy, the name of the edit profile policy, the name of the reset password policy, the API scopes, authority, and the rest of the information we actually uh, may need, right? Also, we are going to have a property named public client app, which is going to be an instance of, or which is going to return an I public client application, right? Okay. Then, this is the main class we are going to um, create. Recommended, created in a folder named Features, create a subfolder log on, and create the class in there. All of this is based on some of the examples for authenticating with Azure AD B2C in summary applications however it is slightly modified okay so you create an interface for i parent window locator service get current window right and we have a user context file which has two classes the user state and the user context user state will basically only have a static property which is of type user context and that's the one where we will have all of the information for the user after we have retrieved it. Okay, what else we need to do? Okay, one of the main things we need to do is we go to our Maui program.cs file. And the way I implemented this is that I have an app settings.development.json file and that file has the JSON for the um, for mapping all of the constants. This is a specific for your tenant and your Azure AD application so you will need to follow the uh, Azure AD guides, Azure AD B2C guides. Okay, so well, one more thing that I did is that these app settings.json files are actually marked as embedded resources, right? And that actually allows me to find those um, resources, right? As you can see, for example, in here, I'm getting this stream from these resource this is the full qualified name of the json file and then i add the json stream to the configuration then i can effectively retrieve things from that so builder configuration we get the ap base url which is the base url for my api and as you can see in here i am getting the B to C constants section and 
I am casting that through a B2C constants class. We add that as a singleton and that has already been uh, implemented. Now, one more thing that we need to do is that when we add our client, we need to set the base address, right? This is the uh, like the client. We have two clients: one for anonymous requests and one for authenticated requests. In the one for authenticated requests, which is this one, you see that in here we are adding a message handler, and this message handler is named base address authorization message handler. If we go to that class, which is defined in this uh, same file, you see that this is a class that inherits from delegation handler and it overrides the send and the send async methods. In both, it, in both methods, it invokes a method named add out token and that out token is implemented in here. Basically, the only thing that it does is it creates a new authorization header using bearer and passing the store access token. So this is a header that will be sent to the authenticated API calls after the user has already logged in. Right. Okay. Now, the other thing that we have in here is if we go to my share uh, folder and we go to the, I believe it was in main layout, you see that in here I have a button which is the one for login and it invokes the on login click method. In here, what we do is we create a variable of type authentication result, right? And then we do this B2C public client app get accounts. Now, how is this public client application created? So we create it in here. Final references, and you see that in here. When we start our application in the app.saml.cs after the initialized component, we create a new instance of public app. Public app uses a public client app builder, which is part of the Microsoft Identity um, package. If we are on an Android platform, we need to guarantee that the that it doesn't launch an additional um, web browser window and instead it runs the authentication inside the application activity. So you see that here one of the things we do is we hit parent activity or window, parent window. This parent window is actually set. There is another way to do that, by the way, but this is the way I have it at the moment. Um, you see that in here, in the main activity, we override this, and in the uncreate, we set app.parent window equal to this. Very, very important, we need to override the on activity result set, and after the invoke to the base, we need to do authentication continuation helper set authentication continuation even args, right? Otherwise, um, the application will actually give you an error and it will not redirect from the uh, external authentication URL to your application. Now, in case it's not using window, in case it's not Android, it will do this else. Okay, so that's the way how this is filled. Then we 
acquire token silently, right? And we execute the request. If it fails, uh, it's probably that we require MAUI. So if it is an exception of type, of type MSL UI required exception, which usually it will happen when you're using Azure AD B2C, because Azure AD B2C uses uh, MSAL. So it will go to this exception and then you will need to do acquire token interactively and we invoke this with parent window and with parent activity on window and you see that we pass platform dot current activity this is the other way that i was saying that you can actually do that with account we pass the policy and accounts we pass the um sign up sign a policy right we say that uh, we want the prompt and we execute the request right once this has finished we set the information like the access token that it is logging the user identifier and any other information that we may need to uh, that we may need to have in our application right and then we navigate to the home or whatever we need to do right and that's basically the way in which you can use azure b2c in dotnet maui applications thank you very much and i hope this video has been very very useful for you have a great day